Hello my friends, I'm Frankie and welcome to Club Foodie. For those who don't know, I'm originally from Montreal. Yes, I grew up having many French dishes from the old country, but Quebec is also known for its own cuisine. I think of Creton, Tortière, Bouilly, Pea Soup and many more. Poutine is a popular one, and in this video, I actually put a twist on it. Here it is. In today's episode, I'll show you how to make my Cajun Poutine. If you want tasty, then this is the recipe for you. The gravy is packed with bold flavor, along with an incredible mix of ingredients. This poutine is on steroids, deliciously different from the traditional ones. So my friends, let's get cooking. We'll start by making the roux for the gravy. In a medium saucepan over medium heat, we'll add butter. And when it's melted and starts sizzling, we'll add the flour. We'll whisk continuously for five to six minutes or until golden brown. To this, We'll add cold beef broth as well as cold chicken broth and then red wine. We'll give a quick whisk to make sure there's no lumps before adding ketchup, Worcestershire sauce, then balsamic vinegar, followed by Creole seasoning. Now get this incredible recipe by clicking on the top right corner of your screen. We'll also season with garlic powder and onion powder. We'll whisk vigorously until the ingredients are well blended and bring the mixture to a boil. We'll season with ground sea salt and freshly ground black pepper. We'll whisk again, then reduce the heat back to medium and simmer for 10 minutes, whisking occasionally. So later on, We'll place some wax paper, making sure it touches the surface to prevent a skin from forming, and then move the saucepan to the back burner. All right, let's move on to the poutine. In a medium skillet over medium heat, we'll add clarified butter. And when it gets hot, we'll add andouille sausage. I have a great homemade recipe for that. So simply click on the top right corner of your screen to get it. So we'll saute the meat for about two minutes before adding white onions and red peppers. We'll saute the ingredients for two and a half to three minutes. And a few minutes later, we'll transfer the mixture to a bowl using a slotted spoon and set aside for now. The next ingredient we'll add is prawns and we'll quickly saute them for no more than a minute and a half. If we go longer than that, they will be rubbery. Yuck! So when they're done, we'll remove them from the heat and transfer to a cutting board. We'll let them cool off before cutting them. I usually cut them in three sections into bite-sized pieces. Not too big and not too small. Now back to our gravy. We'll remove the wax paper and discard it. We'll add our meat mixture to it as well as our cooked prawns, and we'll stir until well combined. Now, time to assemble the poutine. First, we'll generously add the cheese curds on top of the french fries. I'm not showing you how to make fries, but here's the link on the top right corner of your screen. Now we'll spoon the gravy on top, covering the surface, and for the finishing touch, we'll sprinkle on some chopped green onions. And my friends, this is our Cajun poutine. This is an amazing dish that is perfect as a main course. With a delicious new twist on an old favorite, this is a flavorful way to enjoy poutine. It's a great recipe that everyone in your family will love. I hope you give it a try soon and be sure to visit cluffwoody.com. 
by ingredient amounts, directions, and more info. Until next time, my friends, bon appétit! Thank <laughs> you.